everybody and welcome to AutoCAD 3D Lectures with your instructor Elliot Gindis. We are in Chapter 4 and now in Lesson 3. In the previous couple of lessons, of course, we covered Revolve, Shell, Taper, and Loft. And in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and add to it Path Extrusion and the Sweep command, which will uh, pretty much complete most of your uh, curve design knowledge. So the environment here has not changed. Still have the same 3D modeling ribbon, toolbars, cascading menus, and command line. And my units are in architecture. Architectural units. All right, let's get started with path extrusion. Path extrusion and sweep, which will be the next command, are commands with a similar mission but different approaches. Path extrusion is the older command and is still quite useful in certain situations, while the newer sweep just expands and simplifies the same idea. The central idea here is to allow extrusion along a given path, which can be curved or otherwise nonlinear. Recall that the basic extrude command was linear in nature. Path extrusion is technically not a new command, as the option to select a path while extruding was actually always there in the command submenus. So all we're doing here is finally giving it a try. So to try it out, draw a circle of any size in the middle of your screen. and then draw an L-shaped set of lines and add a small fillet to it. And you want the lines to be polylines, so we can just start off with that right away. Type in P-line, start from the center, go out about this far, and then go over about this far. Okay, now just to verify the distance here, I didn't do that earlier, about three and three eighths. So why don't we create a fillet radius 0.5 should work and there it is okay so the line right here is the path and the circle is the profile that we like to extrude so there's just one more step left at least in this particular case this command requires that the profile the circle be turned perpendicular to the path the line so we need to use rotate 3d to rotate the circle around the x-axis at the center point 90 degrees and there it is ready for path extrusion we're just going to go to 3d real quick and now we can do the path extrusion uh, It's the regular extrude command type in command or choose icons and then it says select object to extrude we're going to select the circle hit enter and you're familiar with this already where you can manually extrude the part you done that with the cube earlier or uh, you can put in a value but as you notice it's going straight we want it to go around the path so look on the command line there's a option submenu called path I'm gonna hit P for to select that path option and then select the path the path disappears and in its place you have a solid shape going around a curve so this is a very useful command great for piping, tool design, or many, many other things. And uh, pause the video at this point and give it a try. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you one slight variation to it, or uh, maybe another thing you can do with it. I'm going to draw another circle. Uh, that is after I rotate the UCS icon in the same plane as the existing circle. So I'm going to draw another circle right at the center, eh, about this big and I'm gonna try the same extrusion but I'm gonna select both circles hit enter select P for path there it is and then use boolean operations to subtract one from the other so zoom in select the one you want to keep the one you want to get rid of and there it is now let's shade and you basically have the same thing, but it's just a hollow pipe. So you can see it's hollow. So just another variation of what I just suggested. So go ahead and pause the video as well and give that a try. All right, now let's go on to sweep. As already mentioned, sweep is a variation on the same theme, but with some enhancements. Once again, we have a profile and a path, 
but instead of carefully lining up the circle to the path like we just did, we can select almost any profile anywhere on the screen and click almost any path to generate a sweep. Therefore, it's just a much more flexible command. All right, so to give it a try, I'm first going to backtrack a little bit, do a couple of undos here, and get to the point where I have just a path, because save me a few minutes of drawing. There it is. And I'm not going to need this anymore. I'm going to create a, a whole new path. So there's our pathway. And then I'm going to create, say, a rectangle of about this size. You want it to be reasonable. You, you don't want it to be so big that it's not able to go around this curve. So keep that in mind. The command can break down. Now to use sweep, you can type in sweep as W-E-E-P. Or you can use cascading menus, draw modeling sweep, or the modeling toolbar. Uh, the uh, sweep command is right here, it looks like a little snake. Or you also have it on the solid tab. There it is, sweep. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. So it's going to select the object, it's going to ask you rather to select the object to sweep. So this is the object we want to sweep. Hit enter. And then it says select sweep path and that's our path. And there it is, the object's been transformed to that path. Here it is in shaded mode. So this is certainly a lot easier than what you did before. Now there's some limits to this of course, and those have mostly to do with the size of the profile or path. I just mentioned that a little bit earlier. If the profile does not physically fit the path, AutoCAD tells you that it's unable to produce a sweep. Note that the sweeping action destroys the original profile, so if you think you may need it again, keep a copy of it. This is an important point in creating multiple sweeps later on. Uh, a major advantage of this command over path extrusion is that the sweep can be produced even if the profile is on the same plane as the path. To demonstrate that, I'm going to delete this, reset my UCS icon to world, and go to wireframe. And in top view, I'm going to draw an arc and a circle. Clearly, they're in the same plane. Let's go to 3D to verify this. And now you can use sweep, select the object, enter, then the path. And there it is even though it was in the same plane. So sweep command is not bothered by being in the same plane. It just takes whatever profile is selected and applies it perpendicularly to whatever path you choose. All right, so this concludes the advanced 3D tools. Uh, practice and learn everything you, uh, practice everything you learned thus far. And there's a couple more tools coming up in the upcoming chapter, but these are really the primary ones. Uh, we're going to add one more lesson, not this one, but an excellent lesson number four in this chapter, and we're going to do a bunch of uh, exercises uh, to practice everything. So uh, this will be a little bit of a shorter lesson, but the next one will be a little bit longer as we uh, attempt to draw a bunch of shapes using what we just learned. All right, well, we'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.